What's up, YouTubers? We're at the NAMM show 2020. This is actually day three. Day one and two have been filled with a lot of fun, a lot of walking. Day one, Thursday, I clocked in about 7.4 miles. Friday, just below five miles. Maybe today, let's try to get about six miles, five miles in. It's gonna be a fun day, so let's go. In my opinion, the best amps at NAMM. Besides being great amps, uh, Mac, Elan, Gil over at Two Rock are just great people. They're super nice to me and it's awesome. Cock amplifiers. The preferred amp with the Christmas King himself, Mr. Gregory Cockery. <laughs> Here is Victory at Origin FX. My buddy Roz Campbell loves these pedals. Hi, Tomo. Hi, how are you? <laughs> that was Tomo. As you guys probably know, I studied with him at Berkeley for about two and a half years. And we've been great friends for about like four years now. It's awesome. He's the man. Dunlop, in my opinion, has the best picks. I use the Dunlop Flow Tortex. One million pairs. The crystal kick himself, Gregory Cockery. as well. Awesome player, awesome guy. Damn shred. Yeah. Is it mayonnaise or mayonnaise? Remember guys, Nam is all about two things. Blues licks and slapping the bass. All about slapping the bass. There comes a point at every NAMM show when it's just so loud and it's unbearable. Saturday at NAMM, it's like Times Square. It's packed and it's so loud. Now, I'm heading to Gibson to some buddies, hopefully and see some awesome guitars. You just like believe in yourself, you just stand strong and be wild, not as a performer and a And um, I want to keep it Get out, but Eric my Clapton things on. that I'm getting calls is keep on going. Just push through the most of this thing. It was crawling, it just felt right. The connection, just everything about spot. it. Just felt, so okay, this good. is a spiritual journey. So that was Gibson. I love Gibson, as you guys know. And despite their hiccups last year, they're still my favorite brand and number one guitar. I'm currently in the market for an S-type guitar and a Silver Sky. Whew. They play so good. Here's Nebula. Here's the Nebula Silver Sky. Awesome. And here are more Silver Skies. The tungsten colorway in Rosewood and Maple. 
Fantastic. Awesome. They, they're awesome guitars. This one, the Mock Sand, is my favorite. I played three last week and they were all incredible. PRS guitars are awesome. So hopefully next time I see John, I can tell him, hey man, I got a service guy and it's awesome. <laughs> I haven't seen John since last year, February, right before the Asia tour rehearsal. And it's super cool, so hopefully if I see him this year again, I'll be like, John, I got a service guy, finally! <laughs> Nam Shred! I think it's safe to say that Martin make the best acoustics in the world today. They're amazing. You do the crime, you do the time. Next up, Universal Audio. I have an aux. I use it almost every single day for recording and playing and practicing. And Universal Audio are just releasing now for the spring, Luna which seems to be their own DAW to work in conjunction with your Apollo and it looks awesome. All right, recap so far at NAM day three. Currently 2.20 p.m. It's packed. People everywhere. If you haven't been to NAM, it's a fun experience. Meet a lot of people, see a lot of friends. But it's a lot. It's really something. It's extremely tiring and tiring for your ears. There's noise 24 7 here at NAM. But it's fun. Time to go home because I am exhausted. Heading out now. NAM was awesome this year. So much fun seeing friends in the industry. It's awesome. And time to go back. Rest, recover, and recoup. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.